Hello guys, so these are my estate sale finds from Friday. I uh, went to a local estate sale, got there around like 12, I think it started at 9, so, and they had a lot of signs up in the area, and I was surprised to actually pick up in these patches and stuff, but yeah, uh, I'll start off with the patches and then go in depth about everything. And so first... All the rank patches, private first class, uh, specialist second class or second grade, and then specialist first grade, first sergeant, and his service stripes. Here are the backs. So the lady running the estate sale said this was her parents' house, and her dad served 20 years in the army. Too bad uh, this one has a little ink stain of some sort. Pretty deep, it bled like all the way through. But yeah, I know these two are discontinued. Like discontinu they stopped using those in the mid 80s, I believe. But of course all these are still current. And I think these are like 60s, I'd say. He served around 50s, 60s, 70s, so. I put them around that time. Next we have two Vietnam Assistance Command patches. As you can tell, one's in a lot better shape than the other one. It's interesting, they're two different uh, styles, two different variants. This one's got more of a white back, and it's also a lot few or a little smaller and this one feels more like cloth this one's a little more solid which I don't know if that's just because of the condition or what I was also able to pick up four fourth armored division patches now see when I bought them I just kind of dug through the bin and grabbed as many of them you know as or all of them that I could find I didn't really look at them until after I bought them, after I paid for them. And I noticed that these two definitely used. They've got like tan thread, so maybe they were used on like a one of those tan dress shirts. And these appear to be like the same same time frame. This one does not appear to be used at all. It's a new condition. Probably the newest one. And now this one is the best patch I believe I picked up. I think this is World War II. You can tell by the olive, tri olive drab trim. And the back. I don't know much about patches, but yeah, I'd say that's World War II or 50s. Just comparing the two borders. This is used with the new dress greens, or the new, yeah, after the, they discontinue the Ike jackets. Yeah. Now, I also picked up these last four. First Army, uh, this one, these two are both used. This one's Seventh Army. And I believe these are same era, 60s. 50s, 60s, maybe. Yeah, I've actually never seen one of these. Or actually, never, yeah. But my great grandfather served in this unit in the 50s or 60s after World War II. And I think these two are Boy Scout. I know for sure this one's not military, it's a Boy Scout one. But I just picked it up in the lot anyway. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's. Boy Scout too. And also was able to pick up the Zippo. This is actually like the first thing I saw in the bin. Uh, there's a lot of like knockoff ones. So it's always cool to be able to pick up a real one. Uh, and you can date Zippos based on these little like codes on the bottom. So it's got four dashes 
then the word Zippo, and then three. So I believe this puts it in, I forgot, either 1967 or 1968 production. And you can see it's kind of cool. He put his initials H and T. Uh, his last name was Tyler, pretty sure. Yeah. Overall, it's in, yeah, used condition. Pretty dirty. Of course it doesn't work. You just need a new flint and some fluid. Yeah, you can see the wear and the scratches. But I, my brother picked up another one at an estate sale a couple months ago. And the hinge on his is really wobbly. And this one's not as bad. That's cool. I'll trade this to my brother. He, he does, uh, collects Vietnam era stuff. Same with the patches. I'll just trade it to him. Yeah, this is good for his impression. And now the last thing I picked up. And these uh, Kokeshi chess. Uh, it's made in Japan. You know, I thought that was really cool. I opened the box up. Let's see here. Again, marked uh, made in Japan. And you know, I did a. A quick look, just to make sure all the pieces were there before I bought it, and I'm pretty sure they are. But these are really like lightweight plastic, you know, not heavy at all. But the felt pads on them are actually in really good shape. I don't know if this was ever used. It might have been given as a gift and like just kept it in the box. But yeah, I'll probably give these to my grandparents. It'd be kind of cool. So I'll give the nice fourth armored patch to my grandpa, he collects patches, along with the Made in Japan chest set. And I'll keep this World War II fourth armored, either trade it, sell it, but I'll probably keep it for now. And I'll give all the rank patches, unit patches, and the Zippo to my brother, since it's all Vietnam era stuff and that's what he collects. And then with the stained, like, trash condition ones and the boy scout ones i'm gonna throw out at the art sale this weekend with this bag of just random pins ribbons in bad condition uh, this kind of trash ring patch broken pin probably get a i want to get like three bucks at least for it just a couple bucks make my money back I don't know if you guys have seen my past video on this uh, reproduction German SS tunic. Um, it should be uh, on my channel, but uh, anyway, I picked this up Halloween at a Goodwill for ten bucks. Used condition. I found the ribbons and the patch inside the pocket, and I just you know attached them, putting them on, whatever. And uh, yeah, bought it for ten. Uh, I just listed it for 30 bucks shipped and somebody bought it within like 20 minutes of me posting it so <laughs> probably should have listed it for more but I'm just kind of glad I sold it don't really need it I only collect uh, mostly collect US and yeah so I paid 10 shipping should be if I fit, uh, put in a flat rate should be around eight maybe ten bucks if I have to use like a regular box and yeah I'll make like 10 bucks off of this so not bad for having it for a couple months yeah that's just an update and I'll try to post every Sunday at least to show like estate sales finds and yard sale stuff 
or just anything I pick up during the week or like stuff I'm selling. It may be like once a week on Wednesday, Thursday, something, I'll do like a collection where I'll uh, just post some stuff that's in my collection, highlight something, you know. But yeah, so like and subscribe. I'm trying to get those 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in a year so I can get monetized. Get some ad revenue.